to my channel and if you're new here then hi my name's Zoe thank you so much for clicking on this video I really hope that you decide to subscribe give me a little chance and also turn on that bell so you're notified every single time that I post I do primarily do true crime videos but sometimes I will do other videos just like this one here and there when you've had your true crime fail for the week I will do something a little different so as I've talked about previously on my channel mental health is a big thing for me and I find it quite therapeutic to talk about my mental health online even though sometimes it does get you backlash but I can deal with that so sometimes I will talk about my mental health online and try and see if I can help other people along the way because when I was going through some things in my life which I spoke about before I would go to YouTube or go to Google and if I had a video like this where it was just someone honestly talking about the things that they've gone through this video possibly would have helped me as well so today I'm going to be talking about anxiety mainly anxiety and this is one of the key things that I do struggle with and I also have been diagnosed with postnatal depression as well which I do have a full video on which I will leave linked down below if you are interested in watching that what I decided to do was go to my Instagram and just ask you guys what questions did you anonymously want to know about anxiety so then I could use my experience I'm not professional in any shape or form I'm using my experience to try and guide you and give you some sort of advice so if you want to be involved in any future Q&A's make sure you follow me over there on Instagram the name will be on the screen now and let's get into our first question the first question is when did you first realize you suffered with anxiety it wasn't until last year of school that I realized now I realised that I actually suffered with anxiety when my ex-boyfriend left me a couple of years ago. That's my honest opinion when I first knew and knew that's what I was going through. I think I did struggle with it when I was younger but I didn't realise it was anxiety because that's not something you know about when you're a child. But I do believe I did suffer with that as a child. But the first time I actually realised it was when my, my ex-boyfriend left me, so over four years ago now. How do you stay strong when everything seems to go downhill? Now, I know it is so hard to stay strong and try and be your normal self when things are just going wrong around you. And when you've got anxiety, it seems like everything is going wrong. It's never just... This is how it feels to me anyway, it never feels like it's just one thing at a time going wrong. It seems like once one thing happens, it's a domino effect and you've got all these things on your back. And I think the best way to deal with that is take one problem at a time. Yes, you may have like six or seven problems or three problems happening at the moment, but take a step back and just deal with them one at a time. The other problems are still going to be the at a later date for you to deal with. Just step back and deal with one thing at a time because if you're trying to deal with everything at once, you're then gonna make yourself poorly, you're gonna make yourself over worried, exhausted. So don't do that, just deal with one thing at a time. And I promise that just makes the whole situation easier because every time you're overcoming something, it's one less problem and you're getting to the end of the bad if you, understand what I mean so yeah just deal with one thing at a time what's the best way to deal with social anxiety now this is something that I really have struggled with and I and I still struggle with this to this day and I find that just doing it and just saying yes and just going I'm totally pushing past the anxiousness the feeling like you're getting something wrong like feel like get something wrong what I mean is like when I get anxious about something I'll be on my way to somewhere say it's a job interview and I actually went for a job interview a couple of weeks ago and when I was on my way there I made it adamant in my mind that I'd got the wrong address that I was going to the wrong place that it would have been a different job that emailed me not the one that I was going to and 
I, my mind was making all these things up to try and prevent me going and that was my anxiety. So what I did is I just pushed through it and I was like, no, no, I'm not letting you get the better of me. I was listening to music and uh, doing things that distract me. So if colouring distracts you, do colouring. But I think as well, it all depends what situation you're in. If you're in an event and everything is like, here and you've just got anxiety going absolutely ballistic around your head what I'd do is take a step back put your headphones in whilst you walk around listen to some relaxing music or even if you like dance music listen to dance music do something just to distract your mind whilst you calm down or if it means calling a friend and literally being on the phone to a friend whilst you you're at the event there is nothing wrong with that if that calms you down then do that but it just depends what social situation you're in. Personally, I have never been to a big event or anything like that, so I can't question on that sort of thing. But I think with pushing yourself into a social situation, I think definitely push past your boundaries. Even if you don't do it first time, the next time, take one more step and then take one more step and then eventually you'll be able to put yourself in that situation. The next question is what do you do when you feel like you're getting down? Now, I don't deal with feeling down very well and looking back on situations where I have felt down, I definitely not. I just don't deal with it very well. So, looking back on old situations, I would definitely say speak to somebody first. If you've got a partner at home, then tell them you're feeling down and tell them why, just be straight up honest because then you've got somebody there who knows your situation they can be a little bit easier on you so if you're feeling down about like exams are on at the minute and that's stressful if you're feeling down about an exam because you didn't think you did as well if you tell a friend or a family member then you're going to feel better about that because sharing that problem really is the problem halved and I know that sounds cringy saying that sentence but it really, really is, so just open up to somebody around you. Maybe if you feel like you can't open up to a family member or a close friend or your partner, then if you've got a friend online, like I've got some, I've made so many friends through YouTube online and I can talk to them about my feelings because I feel less judged, it's so weird because they've never met me. I don't know why, but that's just what works for me. Also, I like to get in my pyjamas and just make myself a hot drink and just try and forget about everything. Even if it's for 30 minutes, just give your mind that 30 minutes relaxed time. Or if you enjoy going on walks, go for a walk and put your headphones in, listen to music, call a friend, do something you know that will distract you from that feeling low. Because then if you're feeling happy doing something else, you don't feel as bad about what is making you feel low. And the last question I have is, can you talk about how hard it is being a YouTuber with anxiety? Like, what is it like and how hard is it to deal with? Now, I'm not a big YouTuber by all means. I'm nearly at 1k, which is great, but I'm not a massive YouTuber, but I do get majority of comments. Now, my anxiety really plays with that because I always think, are they going to like my video? Do they even care about me? Are they, if they're subscribing, are they still going to watch? These are all things that go through my mind when I upload a video. But I go and hit publish anyway. I don't let them thoughts stop me from hitting publish. I think. YouTube is a really great place so if you whatever you want to talk about you can you can go on YouTube and you can talk about that and that's what I've done I've got plenty of story times and told my last stories and stuff on YouTube it is a great place to do that so I don't feel that bad in that respect because somebody's going to either come across your video and you're going to help them or they're going to come across your video absolutely love you and subscribe yes there is that little minute number of people that will be hateful that will leave hate comments but 
I totally block them. I don't even see any hate comments coming up because certain words are blocked on my YouTube so they can't comment it. Like when on my Primark video, I comment blocked words like ugly or fat, fat, you know, them sort of words. I block them sort of words so that I don't have to see it. That way it's not gonna play on my mind. The anxiety with YouTube, like I said, for me is definitely there but it isn't hard to deal with because I think I'm trying to live in the sort of mindset. I don't even know if this is a healthy mindset, but I'm trying to think if you don't do it, you're never going to know. So when I'm getting all these anxious thoughts about uploading my videos, such as are they going to like it? Is it even going to get watched? Are people going to subscribe and like me for me? Like, I just think go ahead and post it. If nothing comes of it, if no one cares, then that's fine. You can go and do something else but definitely just push yourself whether it's with YouTube with a new job with wanting a family with anything the main key is just push yourself but if you think you are pushing yourself too hard just remember you can take small steps there is nothing wrong and there's nothing wrong with even taking a couple of steps back just do you and that is the best advice that I can give so I'm gonna end this video before I get too rambly that is all for this mental health Q&A around anxiety I do want to like cover other subjects such as like depression postnatal depression and OCD and things like that so if that's something you want to see please let me know down below and I might start this into like a small series where I ask you guys questions about a topic and I give my advice off my experiences this is off me I am not a professional in the slightest I don't know anything medically or scientifically so I'm not trying to diagnose anybody or say you have got anxiety I'm just giving you my advice from your questions if you did enjoy this video please give it a massive thumbs up please subscribe leave me a heart comment down below if you're still here at the end and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.